Who? What's up, people? This is Brandon here, and today we have the FCB 1010. We're gonna take a look at control changes. In my previous video on the FCB 1010, I showed you how to set up the 1010 with Reason, uh, the best situation for that. I also mentioned that using the control change does not work with Reason, and that's what we're gonna take a look at today. So what do I want to assign the FCB 1010 to is a combinator, but not just one combinator. I want to be able to switch through multiple combinators and the FCB automatically be connected to the combinator that I have selected. And to do that, find the CC number for the buttons on the combinator by checking the MIDI implementation chart on the Propellerheads website for the current version of Reason that you're using. So if you're using 6.5, just go to the search box and type in 6.5 MIDI implementation and it'll bring up the documentation for that. So if you are using 6.5, I already know it. I'm programming 6 and 7. I actually already have them programmed, but if you're going to do buttons, you could program any of these. It doesn't matter. I'm just, I just have the camera focused on these two. But the first button is the control change number 75, and then the fourth button is 78. So 75 through 78 if I was using these four for my buttons. So in theory, I should be able to press 7, and then that will turn on the second button on the combinator. Press 6, and that'll turn on the first button, but that doesn't quite work in reason. I'm going to go ahead and open up a combinator. And since I already have everything programmed, I can press 6, and it'll turn it on, off, on, off, switch to 7, on, off, on, off. So that works. It seems like it works fine, right? And I can switch back to 6 and do the same thing and go back to 7 and turn it on. So they both turn on. It looks like I can switch back and forth to them. But the problem is when they're both on and I switch back to the one that's not selected. Right now I have 7 selected. You can see the light on 7 selected. If I hit 6, the button doesn't turn off. And when I go back to 7, it also doesn't turn off. Now, but I have 6 selected again and the, all the buttons are still on. If I hit 6 again, it turns off and I can switch just like normal. And I can go to 7, double tap, and turn it off. And that's the problem. You don't want to have to double tap the pedals to get it to work. And that's why I chose to use notes instead of control changes. Now what I don't know is why this is. Is this a reason thing? Is this an FCB 1010 thing? I really don't know. I cannot find any information on this. So that's control changes from the FCB 1010. If you want to find out how to program the FCB 1010 with reason, uh, check out the video on the screen right now. Click it and the annotation will take you there. There's also a link in the description for those of you that are viewing from a platform that does not support annotations. Uh, if you have any questions about the FCB 1010, if you would like me to try something on it before you buy it, I'll let you know if it works with reason. Visit my website and shoot me an email or leave a comment on this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you later.